Hello and welcome to the Sakai Layout Tutorial. This brief tutorial will introduce you to the layout of Sakai and some of its features. First, what is Sakai? Sakai is a learning management system, or LMS, which provides the delivery of online education materials, including courses, resources, and other important information. Most classes at Gordon-Conwell utilize Sakai in some way. Some courses, such as our Semlink Plus online courses, are delivered exclusively through Sakai. Since Sakai is so widely utilized at Gordon-Conwell, it's important for you to become com comfortable in its environment. One of the great advantages of Sakai is that it is fairly easy to learn whether you like technology or not. This tutorial begins with the screen that you see after you log into Sakai. Let's call it your home screen, or your home page. We will start at the top of the screen and work our way down. In the upper left hand corner, you will see Gordon Conwell's logo and, and links to the four campuses below it. These can be clicked at any time to be taken to Gordon Conwell's main website. In the upper right hand corner, you will see several pictures called icons that you can click on. If you hover your pointer over each picture, you can see where it leads. The picture of the open envelope, for instance, leads you to your webmail. Below the icons, you will see your name. If you click on your name, a few options come up. The first option is a link to your profile. The second option is a link to your preferences. And the third option is a basic tutorial that displays when you first log into Sakai. You can access it if you wish. To the right of your name is a logout button. It is wise to log out of Sakai each time you are done using the system. Sakai will also automatically log you out if you are no longer using the system. Below the logout button is what I like to call the red bar. The red bar stretches across the page. You may see one or several links that you can click located on this red bar. The one on the far left is called My Workspace. This link appears for each student. If you ever need to return to your home page, you can always click on this My Workspace link. To the right of My Workspace, you may see other links. These links are called Course Sites. If you click on a Course Site link, you will be taken directly to the site. Every course that you take at Gordon-Conwell has a course site, whether the professor chooses to utilize it or not. You can also use the down arrow button on a course site link to be taken directly to a specific tool within that site. Only a certain number of course sites will appear in the red bar at a time based on your preferences. If you do not see a particular course site that you are registered for, there may be one of several reasons. The first is that you have more sites than can be displayed in the red bar. If you click on this More Sites button, you can see all of the course sites available to you. There is a Preferences link in the upper right hand corner. This allows you to configure which course sites you want to appear in your red bar and in what order. You can also hide sites that you no longer wish to see. And of course you can change these settings at any time. On the left side of your screen, you will see a series of links beginning with a home link at the top and a help link at the bottom. We will cover these a little bit more in depth in the My Workspace tutorial. To the right of the home link, you will see a blue toggle button. This button allows you to collapse or expand the left sidebar as you desire. There are a few other things that we wish to point out on this main screen. First is this help icon. You, you will see this scattered throughout Sakai. The, this icon takes you to a help window that explains more about the tool that you are using. In the left column on the main page, you will see a section called Message of the Day. Important information about Sakai is sometimes posted in this section. Below that is a section called My Workspace Information Display. This provides some helpful information if you're having difficulty locating a course site that you are registered for. Please keep in mind that if you are registered for an online course and you do not yet see the course site in Sakai, 
the, the course may not yet be open for you to access. Typically, online courses are made public to registered students three to seven days in advance. In the right column, you will see a, a list of course sites that you are a part of and whether there are any new messages or new forum posts within those sites. Below that is a calendar that interfaces with the course sites that you are a part of. You can also add your own items to this calendar, and we'll talk a little more about this in the My Workspace tutorial. Finally, at the bottom of the screen is a list of recent announcements from the courses that you are a part of. There's one final tool that we would like to introduce you to, and this is called the Refresh tool. In certain places in Sakai, especially in the Lessons and Forums tools, you will see two blue arrows. Think of these arrows kind of like a reset button. They bring you back to the place where you started. Let me show you how they work uh, by using the Lessons tool. There are many times within a course when you just want to get back to that main lessons page, but you've clicked on so many links that you uh, can't figure out how to get back to the top. Well, one, uh, one way you can do this is by clicking the refresh tool. This refresh tool will reset any navigation within the tool that you're using. As I mentioned, this tool is not only very helpful in the lessons tool, but it's also helpful in the forums tool which I will introduce you to in a later tutorial. This completes the Sakai Layout tutorial. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please email charlotteadmissions at gordonconwell.edu.